Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we'll be playing Atari 2600 Yay, games. It's 2600 days. It is. Are you excited, Pixel? I'm he excited. is. Very excited. Uh, we're What's... gonna be playing a bunch of new games. What? Chat? Nothing in the chat yet? Oh, something happened. Obviously. Oh, there it goes. Something reset. That's okay. Just just check in before you launch. <laughs> uh, tonight we're going to be playing some brand new games. ISS by Donner Kuh. Uh And uh, Keep Them Out by VHZC. He has yet made another new game. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to be playing uh, two new games by Kev Kelly, uh, Lawn Boy, and Coneball. And he says he might be able to make it to the chat Yay. if you have questions for him. Excellent. And in After Dark, we're going to be playing Star Master. What? Cool. For the patch. Okay. Uh, this game has four patches. We've got two of them so far, and two. I'm going to be getting trying to go for the third. Clip number three. Okay. And see if I can get that. Excellent. Are you excited? The cats yes, are you excited. Kev's are. here. Yay. Yay. Kev Kelly is here. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd wear this because of Star Master, because yeah. you know you're going through space, and mm -hmm. there there are asteroids in the Shooting game. The asteroids. Yeah. So yeah. you know, go on theme. Try to. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm -hmm. who are scrolling down the side. Eight bits, Wami, on the front arm star, arm star coder, Atari <laughs> HBR, Pocop, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Canadian Tenor Charles, and Check Charles Wheel and Chive Crossbow, Dino, Dan, NBC, Doctor Moo, Cows, Great Defender, Gradems, Ozure Rapper. Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco, Mark Space, Inc., Battle Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnwoop, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, VG, Kohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Retro, Salary Man, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spicer S, Ramirez, The D Train, The Welsh Man, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, X, Ken X. And if you're not on the list and you'd like to be on that list, mm -hmm. yeah, get there. Hope the sash is ready. Yeah, it is. It's up, up there. there. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's ready. Yeah. It's... Uh, if you want to be on that list and, mm -hmm. or you were supposed to be on that list, just click subscribe and you will be on that list. And I'll read you out as well. Or you can just follow us and then you'll be alerted to the show that's, right. that's on right now, live on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, we do broadcast live. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to thank all the people who are in the chat today, live with us. Rendered Ghost, S. Ramirez, Oceanics, 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 I'll go for that. <laughs> Miss Command, S. Ramirez, I already said. Kev Kelly, Charles Whelan, Dan AVC, Nostalgic, um, Alnifer, Vitoko, Spartan, 581. Uh, and all the other people who are lurking. Yes. Welcome to the show. We're going to play some games. But first, some pretty cool news. Check this out. Champ Games released some footage of their new game, Kix. Uh, super fun game if you've never played it before. No. Um, <laughs> It says, here's a sneak peek of the Champ Games port of Kicks for Atari 2600 in action. <laughs> a demo will be available to play at this year's Music City Multicon in Tennessee at the end of October. Very so exciting. if you're in that area, yeah. you'll be one of the first people to play it. That's cool. Um, and here is some more info about uh, the game. Um, it's already awesome. Wink. There you go. You can read some more about it. Um for one or two players, plus exclusive two-player co-op mode. Very mm. fun. Uh, for skill levels, save your high scores. Two-button game, game pads supported for fast and slow draw, just like the arcade. Supports a quad tar that allows for co-op play with high score saves. You can mm. both play at once. That's cool. Um, all the details there. Kind of the same stuff. Um, download the demo November 2021. I'm guessing mm. after the convention. Um, and it will be for purchase way in the future, mm -hmm. December 2022. He's got a lot of games mm -hmm. uh, before that. But, but he's working on it, so that's yeah. really cool. So let's actually check out the footage that was released like 20 minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> like it was, it just happened. Um, so here we go. Oh, let's you're not rewind. showing it. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's rewind and then show it. There we there go. We go. And turn it down so you don't blast your eardrums out. So it does a very cool uh, screen draw there for mm -hmm. kicks. 
one player standard champ games 2021 is that loud enough no because so i didn't blast your eardrums so there you are you're the little um target drawing boxes yeah. fills them in and it's got two fill colors uh orange oh, i'm gonna destroy you uh the blue and the orange to give some variety there there's the little thing moving around looks super awesome um twisting and twirling around looks like it's drawn with i don't know how that's drawn it's got like a shadow to it as well. Super cool. Mm -hmm. um, this was posted at 30 frames a second, so it's hard to tell what the actual speed. Whoa! Of. Big fill. Here. Percentage 93 percent. So he was building up to trap it in the corner there. Mm -hmm. So super awesome. Let's just watch that again. Um, so he's, they've got the little uh, things that are going for you. I bet those are at 30 hertz. Very cool along the top there. And the sound is it's really, good. really good yeah. as well. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Oh, it looks like it has almost one shadow, two shadows. Hard to tell. Um, the little spinny thing. I don't know the names of these things. They all have names, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the sparks. <laughs> yep. And it shows your lives up in the top right hand corner. Nice. How much Percent. you've drawn. Yeah. And what the threshold is and the points. Uh, so, super duper cool. That is awesome. So, uh, looking forward to playing that on the show when it is ready. Um, so, there is a Hokey update, which is the Pokey replacement chip. Yeah. Chip. Um, and there was an update, kind of, kind of update, posted by Albert uh, in the forums. Um, so he's answering to somebody if the Pokey One games have the Hokey chip in them yet. Okay. Um, because uh, there are some games where you can either send a Pokey chip to Al and he'll put he'll it in put it and then in. send it to you when you buy the game. Oh, I see. Or you can buy it with a chip in it. Okay. And that used to be uh, the Pokey Ones, but now they're going to switch over to the Hokies because they're cheaper mm -hmm. and available. Uh, and he said, no, not yet, but I'll be adding the Pokey Base 7800 games back to the store soon. Mm. I have new boards that I need to test and will be using the new Hokey going forward. Mm. I've already tested the Hokey with the five Pokey compatible 7800 games we have in the store, and it sounds great. So they're all Excellent. tested. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to getting these back in the store. I know many people are waiting for them. And uh, also some uh, SS asks, are there plans to sell some Hokey chips separately? I would like to get one for my concerto cartridge. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's kind nice of been known answer, all yes. the way along. Yeah. So soonish, soon, soon, yeah. nebulous soon is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the news. So let's get into the first game. Yay. ISS by Donner K. If that's how you say it, Donner K. Donner K. Uh, Donner K. We've played um, some of uh, his games before. Okay. Uh, Trenches of War. Remember that one where you have to hop uh, through various screens and there's different military things shooting yes. at you? Yes, yes, yep. yes. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one. It was pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this one's in space. Yay. <laughs> uh, so let's get that set up. Here's a joystick for you. And it looks like it's already on. Oh, that cat is being cute. Oh, he's, he's a black ball of he's fluff there. He's a black there. cat loaf there right now. Let's show that black fluffy there. Yeah. There he is. There he is, oh, loafing. That's a, that's a very angled camera. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. So this uh, was first posted in the uh, forums. Um, you can go ahead. Just don't start it. Uh, on September 10th, and this build is from October 9th, a couple days ago. It's a 4K game. Um, so Donner uh, posted, save the ISS station and learn Batari Basic. Mm. I will learn to make better YouTube videos. So he, he also posts his progress mm. uh, on making this game mm. uh, on YouTube. So uh, go for it. It's version 1.0. 
So he's mm -hmm. he's finished this game, barring any big bugs or anything. Mm. So this is the completed version. Okay. Does that art style look familiar? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes. VHZC did the uh, uh, intro art for Donna Very Cook. nice. Very nice. Um, he said, uh, VHZ said, it's really cool game. Simple and addictive arcadey gameplay. As a suggestion, I think you can make a better title screen using sprites instead of playfield pixels. Because mm. he had a big uh, space station originally. Okay. Um, and so he posted code for him to use for his game, oh. and he did. Very cute. Yeah, I um, like it. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Uh, so September 12th, now it's playable. Defend the ISS. You can only fire if you move. Don't hit the ISS. Avoid, so you can okay. you can damage the ISS yourself, okay. the thing you're defending. So okay. be that's, careful where you're shooting. That's, that's dangerous. Avoid, no poll today. Sorry, I didn't come up with a poll topic. <laughs> it's not always a poll. No, not had. always. I, I couldn't think of one. Yeah. Um, uh, avoid collisions. Uh, please try the game and tell me if it's fun. Oh. Um, so, yeah, okay. go for it. Uh, shoot the invaders, don't shoot the ISS. Ah. Uh, you randomly spin. What is going on? Yeah, don't, don't run into the space station. What is going on? Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, you have to reset. You randomly spin? I don't, I don't understand that part. It's just something that he threw in to make it more difficult. Shoot it! Yeah, but I... Your, sh your ship malfunctions every once in a while. Oh, your, your ship is shooting, too. Uh, yeah, it can defend itself a tiny bit if the enemy... It should be able to defend in, itself a little bit. <laughs> in the right alignment, it can defend itself. Yeah. ISS. There is no second eye. <laughs> uh, on September 16th, he said, Hi, the game is finished. There are 316 bytes free for your ideas. Please try the game and send me your scores. Give me feedback and tell me bugs. <gasps> I shot myself. <laughs> you can be shot by the space station. Oh, that too. It's yeah. it, it's not uh, always acting in its own best interest. But <laughs> anyway, yep. that's funny. Alan the Fur, uh, who's in the chat, said, Tested your new game on the plus cart today. Uh, here is my feedback. The ship should try and stay in the last direction it moved oh, no. and not switch back to the upright position. Are you shooting your ship? No, it started to spin. And dead. <laughs> uh, yes, you have to get up yeah. to reset the game. Please fix that, Donna. Please. <laughs> Couch. Um, Couch. Oh, no, I'm stuck. What, what happened? He said the random ship rotating is annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's like a good thing to put in the game, like just to just like random chaos. Random chaos <laughs> to make it just a little bit harder. Cats, learn to reset the machine. Come on. Um, the exit function. Blah, 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 blah. Zero page homebrew will surely complain that this is not couch compliant. That's what Alan the first said. What just happened there. Shoot him! I came what are you out. Doing? The, I came around the other side. Oh, I didn't see it. I like went up and came up over on the right. <laughs> oh, it's, it's leg day. Playing yes, this game. It, it is. is leg day. Yeah, when the station gets hit, it starts changing color to to signify oh, how damaged so it is. Hit. See, just yeah, you can warp. Try it. Just try it normally. Try and loop around. Yeah, you can loop around. It's very confusing though. Well, that's confusing. You go up, you loop around to the bottom. You go down, you loop around to the top. No, but I... It, no? Is that not how it works? It, it just feels... <laughs> Did he shoot? shoot? Yeah, he's constantly shooting your ship. No, he's constantly shooting. He's not necessarily shooting... He, he was in alignment with the ISS. Oh, so he, he was, was shooting, shooting the whole shoot, time. Like, he's gonna shoot. He's shooting the wrong way. But. Yeah. Um, I thought he was shooting the wrong way. Would be cool if the ISS would move too. Difficult, but yes. vertical scrolling would should be possible with playfield graphics. Yeah, you should be able to just move it up and down. And that would be just changing the... Oh, when he turns into a, a star, that's when it spins. Yes. Yeah. There's no instructions with this game. Hey, he defended itself. Yeah, good. Too many score digits. It's hard to get points. What? You don't think... You can get uh, oh. 
ten, 100,000 points. <laughs> did I jump or did I actually hit it? No, the, ex the explosion. Oh, I see. He are exploded. for the ISS. It it hit the ISS. Okay. And and made it explode. And then made it explode. Yeah. Too many score digits. It is hard to get points. <laughs> you need to see like the NES games for ZPH uh, couch compliance. That's right. <laughs> Certified couch <laughs> compliant. <laughs> it's just a couch with two cats Your turn. on it. <laughs> Your not, turn to sit time. on the floor. My time for a workout. Yep. Kitten, move over. Oh, he meowed. He didn't like that. Thank you. Can you see? Am I yep. in your way? Nope. You're good. <laughs> First, maybe you don't need it. Oh, I do when I die. Hey! Oh my god, I shot my own ship. Oh my god. Yeah, see? You die fast. When, when they're you in need, alignment, yeah. You need a, a few more alignments. Guess you gotta get central, like, yeah. like get ready for when wherever the ship's. Oh, he made me spin. It's like he's uh, jamming your ship. Yeah. But he can't shoot while he's doing the jam. Oh. Just be masters. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna shoot. Stop it. He shoots like uh, the wrong way sometimes. Yeah. Which is good. Maybe he's trying to shoot me. No. Hey, hey, don't shoot my ship. There should be like a repair phase or something. He almost shot you. The ship? This... Yeah, but because you shot him before the bullet got to you, it disappeared. Mmm. So, lucky. yeah, you were lucky. My ISS only has one more to go. Oh my god. I know. Hundred. Good job. <laughs> All this time, we try to make the cords of our controllers longer. Instead, we should make the cord connecting the console TV longer so you have the console next to you. Um, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, one more. It's not authentic, though. It's not authentic. <laughs> yeah. You don't have someone who's getting up every five minutes to hit the reset switch. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, originally, the console was close. supposed to be next to you. Yeah, I know. You would sit on the floor... Your TV that's up true. Here, that's true. And the console would be right in front of you. Oh my god, no! It's gonna run it. It's not hard. This game is really hard. <laughs> like, if he gets aligned and starts shooting it, it's gonna be over. Nice place. Like, every hundred points, it should, like, repair itself mm -hmm. a little bit, maybe. Oh, you ran into it. Oh, I wrapped her around yeah, and ran into around. it. Brutal. <laughs> Just have to be like on him immediately. Because he can come out, shoot immediately yeah. the ship. Like there again. It, it's barely in for him. So, really, in four turns, the game can be over with those ships coming out. Yeah. Ah! Oh, good. Defended itself. <laughs> Ooh, I just shot him before he turned me into a... S oh, leftovers. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. Whoa, the nose was actually in. Oh, yeah, shoot him. Shoot that star. Shoot him again. Shoot him. Nice, his bullet disappears. Oh, come on. Oof, lucky. Oh, it's going to get two no, more hits. On. No, I think that's orange. Is it red or no, orange? No, I think you have one more hit and it's... Ugh. What? How? What hit him? He hit... He uh, shot the ship. He but shot the ISS. Different... Nope. He shot it. It hit Did the he? bottom of it. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I wish there was a way to make a switch extension cord or a remote mm -hmm. remote for it. We just need one of those extendable hands. Uh, that's why the PSU, the power supply and RF cords are massively long. Yeah, they're like crazy long power supplies and the RF. Um, but since I have it like connected differently, um, it sits there. And most games now, most homebrews have everything's on the joystick, which is nice. Except for this one. Cannot reset. Boo. Well, I got 100 before. Did you record that? I don't want mine. I'll do one more. One more, one more game. 
because it's it's mostly a luck luck it pace. Is. Like you cannot last forever. Yeah. He will come out, shoot the ship immediately, and your ISS like there. I couldn't defend that. Now I'm a star, and <laughs> and then you shot it. And then I shot it. <laughs> One more. One more. I have to do a, a decent run at it. I mean, I don't hate games where there's luck involved. But... Oh, this is makes it so short. The luck. Ah! Ah! I ran into him. No, it was too too One close. Way up. Yep. Yep. Oh my god! Almost ran into him. It's the looping around. No, no, no! Spinning. I don't mind that spinning thing. Because he can't shoot. He can't shoot. Either. No, he can't. But you might end up in the position where he ends up so close to the space station. That's a problem, yeah. You can't get to ah! See? He got one shot off, shot yeah. off, and I could not defend at all against that. Sometimes he doesn't shoot the ship. Like, why, why would he shoot upwards there? Because I'm up, I guess. No, oh, stop it! No! Oh, he almost got a second shot in, but I got him just before he did it. No, 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 no! No! Oh, oh my god, this game! Okay. Hop back up. Well, I don't know. There's a cat there now. <laughs> How did you get up there? He says it's warm there. Oh, kitty. So, uh, fairly unforgiving game. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Good concept, though. It's pretty it's, fun. It is. It's very fun. I, I feel, think um... Just a little bit more... Yeah, I did lose my seat. <laughs> fairness or yeah. ability to repair the ISS somehow or it self-repairs after a bit. Mm. Because it's inevitable you will lose. Like, in short order. Like, you're going to lose. It would almost comes not, out shoots, and I don't know if this is too complex, but it would almost be n nice if there were waves around, where he shoots uh, less yeah, and yeah. moves more slowly, and then he gets faster and shoots more. Because yes. you could keep the spontaneous nature of it, but yeah. kind of ramping up to that might be nice. Yeah, because it max it's maxed out immediately. Like there is no difficulty yeah. level, as far as I can tell, or yeah. can't make it to another difficulty level. Yeah, like starting off a little slower. And then maybe if you shoot them ten times, and then you go into another wave. Wave two, you repair the ISS. Yeah, you repair it, and then it's wave normal. two. Yeah, that would and be then, good. And then it would drag out, I think, the, the gameplay, because it's a little short. I wonder if but... you could stream the Atari output from a console near you to a receiver in the TV. Oh, yeah. Um, they use it on movie sets all the time. Uh, remote broadcast. It's very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, HDMI output. Mm, um, Defender and Attacker. Yeah, VHZC. That's true. Oh, yes. Uh, the attacker would have to be very limited, just like it is on the screen. Right? You don't maybe don't control the movement, but you control where the shooting happens, and it's limited. Or you're very slow at moving. Oh, you know what would be cool? If and a you, smaller ISS. If you that would help. picked, like, hmm. I would say if you could pick where it came out of, that would be oh, cool. Oh, what side, yeah. Like up, down, left, right. But that wouldn't give you a lot of fine control, I don't think. You could choose where to shoot, too. But, of course, you would always shoot the ISS. Because that guy doesn't. And if you always shot the ISS, it would be over even, over even quicker than that. Because he sometimes didn't shoot it, and he was lined up completely. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine mm. a two-player mode wouldn't require much more. No, no, it would just read the joystick instead of randomizing. Yeah. Or not randomizing. I guess you could pick the direction of your shot in a two-player mode. Because he his path doesn't change the... Um, the enemy enemy ship no it doesn't or the alien it would just be the, the direction path of the doesn't, shot. doesn't change so you could just pick the direction so you could either try to attack the ship to kill them or try to attack the iss yes um i don't know it's cool though it's nice it's it's got a nice um concept it and does it's, it's fun to play it's just a little short unfortunately because <laughs> a little brutal a little short yeah if short he and comes brutal. out shooting and, and is you're you're too far from him it's very hard to kind of catch up to him before yeah. he shoots the um the, the station yeah. okay second game tonight mm -hmm. is by vhzc 
who is here? Yay! Welcome, VHZC. <laughs> um, it's called Keep Them Out. Um, it was posted uh, yesterday mm -hmm. uh, on the 11th. Uh, 4K game. Um, he said, hi, a couple days ago I had the idea of a simple game using Playfield Pixels, so I wrote it and called it Keep Them Out. The game is really simple. You have to stop the jellyfish like invaders and bombs before they reach the wall. If a jellyfish reaches the wall, a break will disappear. A brick will disappear. If a regular bomb reaches the wall, four bricks will disappear. And if a special bomb reaches the wall, an entire row will disappear. Mm. Um, so boot it up. Uh, if a jellyfish or bomb reach the bottom of the screen, the game is over. Keep them out. Looks like Tetris, hmm. where it's, it's, it's like, uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> what are you looking for? Uh, the game is separate in waves. After each wave, you'll get points depending on the remaining bricks. Bricks don't regenerate. For now, after wave goes over 10, the wave counter resets to one. Good luck for that. It was just a quick... A uh, project to clear my mind, but if there's interest, okay. I can make a PAL version. That's yes. all for now. So press the button to start, and a little intro. Yep. Oh. oh! So jellyfish are attacking your wall! Ah. Ah. Very cute jellyfish with the moving legs. Oh my goodness. I feel like this needs a paddle. <laughs> You're not alone. There are a couple people in the chat. We'll get to that. <laughs> that, that said, this uh, looks like a paddle game. Ah! Uh, uh, Thomas Yench said, nice, but why are you not using paddles? <laughs> and VHC said, because, uh, because, I, because I hate paddles. Aww. Never like them. But I'll probably make a paddle version. Carrie <laughs> uh, Ujimbo said, I never understood why everyone seems so obsessed with paddles either. But I do think this would fit the 1% of 1% of games that would actually be more enjoyable with them. Or, or the option to use either paddles or joysticks. Very cool little game, by the way. I hope to play it more when the kitten settles down and stops attacking the screen. Bad, bad. Bad kittens. You, re ah! you represent all kitten kind. So those destroy oh four gosh. bricks. Those aren't even the super bombs. So you're wave four. Whoa! Ah! Jellyfish on a squares land. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Jellyfish in squares land. Oh, ah! no, it's over. Oh. Wait, five. Good stuff. Oh, no screen. What? Oh, no. Game over. <laughs> Do we get to see it? No. Okay. No, no, I get another. No one okay. saw my game, so. True. <laughs> Very nice clear. Clears the screen beautifully. Nice. And brings it in. I like it. Please show it to us. I guess we use our imagination, yeah. <laughs> Something about the clickiness of the... It's not very smooth. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to go over one and I accidentally go over two. Yep. We didn't see Titania get to own the game, which did pretty well. Wave five. Halfway there. Yeah. However well I do... I did better last round. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm doing pretty good this time. No. No? You're doing better last time? Just, I, it's it's the moving over twice when you're trying to move once. Kev Kelly, more. Kev Kelly said, I always liked paddles growing up, but I think it was just the switch of gameplay I enjoyed more. It seemed more frantic oh, as levels got faster and felt a paddle was needed to go quicker. So that brings the question, when... Are paddles appropriate for a game? Um, they definitely lend themselves to one-dimensional movement, like this. Whenever there's a game where it's just moving along a line, or moving around a circle, or moving up and down, but you never move in two dimensions, just one dimension, you made it to wave five again. Um, and you're doing better because they haven't made it through to the bottom. Well... Um, that's I still struggle with. I th I think the reason why paddles would be suits games like this is yeah. because it's so clicky with a joystick. Right. Paddles are for precision. I'm like getting tense. That too. Yeah, and it, it lacks a little bit of precision with the joystick. It's not terrible, oh, but it's it's very easy. Oh, super bomb! Ah! Oh, it's over. 
You did better. It's very easy to just go over two. Yeah. You're like, ah! <laughs> and then James says something to Jinx. Yes, exactly. You're doing amazing. Yeah. You're yeah. just doing Wait, so six, well. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Um, and uh, you can do one more. Okay. Um, also, <laughs> paddles are very good for positional games, like a steering wheel. Like if you're steering, if you want to steer a little bit more or a little bit less, you can't use a digital joystick for that. You need to... Oh my gosh. I'm trying to figure out... The best way to hold the joystick. Yes. It's like um, left-handed, right So if right you want to steer more, more or less, that's good for that. I have more fine control with my right hand. This joystick version ah. could be a bit easier if the pad moves in halves. Oh, yes. It would, actually. But you can, you can see that he's moving it so it's positioned perfectly under each thing. Which makes it kind of easier to know whether you're on it or not you know. uh crossbow says it's funny because they said yes they he, he hadn't made it to the bottom level and then a jellyfish guy made it to the bottom right on cue of course that's what happens you never say you're doing well in a game ever never have your husband say you're doing well in a game <laughs> that too nobody around like, you jinxing me can say oh you're doing awesome you're doing terrible. Play better. I don't think that works either. No. Just silence. Um, and paddles are good for things that, you know, require different levels of input rather than one or zero. Yeah. Um, can't really think of like a good example for that, but. Um, and anything, just anything that doesn't require digital input is is useful. Wave is hard to read in my CRT. It is quite tiny. Oh. Because it's it's squishy squish. Oh, oh no! Four it took out four. Does it take out a cross? Of no, it. it uh, or four it goes random down. ones. Ah! Uh oh, that was close. Ah! Oh no! Wave six. Wave six. Same thing. I think a little slightly higher score. Nobody's keeping track. I actually think I have more fine control with my right hand. Goodness, unscrewing the knob. I know, I always do that. You're like, uh, unscrew, unscrew. I was trying to unscrew. use the left, but the right, <laughs> the right has more control. Uh, sometimes. Is this a left-handed joystick? Technically, yes. So that's why I oh struggled. I'm going to blame the joystick from now on. It's always blame your tools. <laughs> not going to be bu buying any right-handed joysticks. So <laughs> you'll have to buy those for yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. It does take a bit of getting used to the, <laughs> the precision of it. Nice, yeah, we have six. It does, because it is it is a little clicky. It's almost like you have to it's get like it very near. Very soft touch. You have to get it near, near it and yeah. then adjust it after you get yeah, near it. That's so true. Ooh, but curve. you don't have to. the track and field control. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hmm. That might work mm -hmm. better. We'll have to try that, actually. Mm -hmm. Ah! It's cute, though. It's simple and very cute. I especially like how some of the bombs... Well, the bombs accelerate, too, which is they crazy. Yeah. You're like, ah! <laughs> they come on the screen quick, and then they slow yeah, down. Yeah. Very much like uh, Bosconian enemies in the arcade. The toko jiggling the joystick helps here. It does. Yeah. Ah! Ah! It's broken through. I know. Defenseless. There's no wall. No! <laughs> There's no wall. Okay. Build up a wall. It should rise up like Tetris or something. No! Oh, it takes that. Yeah. I thought it did a whole vertical. It does a whole horizontal. Or, ah. Damn it. Oh. Good stuff. Wave six. Wave six. So you get all your bonus at the end of the wave. Oh. Somebody followed? Who is it? Ted Bundy. <laughs> oh, well, you're out of jail, eh? Or alive. Oh, Did he get distracted. executed? <laughs> oh, oh, I think I pressed the button. My my score went away. It's called uh, Keep Them Out. 260, two two sixty was it? Two sixty. I made it to wave six. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. What's the name of this game? Keep them out. Oh, yes. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so frustrating. 
Couch compliant, yes. <laughs> it's 100% couch compliant. Yes. I, I certify it. You can put the little uh, seal of approval. ZPH seal of approval. Ted couch Bundy compliant. says, I could execute it, but now I'm here watching retro games. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's not a bad afterlife. No. And get lots of points for not. Oh, oh my god. No. 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 Oh my goodness. It's going to be over. Just takes one to get through that. I know. Oh. And it, it, it throws off your game too. One gets through. Yep. <sighs> You're fighting with it's the controls. It does, That's the it problem. It does the break through um, horizontally a bit, those bombs. Oh. oh. Must be a cross shape. Hi, cat. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right through. <sighs> um, it should maybe mm. explode the whole screen. Go <laughs> row by row, exploding or something. Oh, something like that. That would yeah. be very cool. Yeah. Um, so that was much worse. So I'm gonna try. <laughs> You're gonna try, try it again? again. Okay. But the screen clearing is super cool. Oh, it's so you, awesome. If you exploded everything, you wouldn't have that. So. Yeah. Maybe not. I love the whole intro thing where it comes on. Atari is very. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Atari suddenly noticed something is happening on the screen. <laughs> that is a problem because so, somebody, I think it, somebody said they their, were their cat, their attacks, cat was attacking yeah. the screen. Yeah. I can't remember who it was. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> yeah, keep doing that. <laughs> yep, just send them all in a row. Mm -hmm. I play with oh, the idea of some fight. repair blocks that you can catch. To it's tricky. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yay! Thank you, Miss Karen. Happy cats! Yeah, repair block catching would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Kitties. Yeah? Are you ready? Are you ready? Damn it! <laughs> no! Oh god, there's a big Sorry, hole in my wall. No! No! Ugh! Damn it! Oh my god, no. Cat feeding time! Oh. Yeah, oh level bad five. News. Oh, the, a pink one got through. Yeah, oh, it did. They take so much down. The whole, the whole row. You mm -hmm. can only take four of them. Ah! Damn it! I think they're coming faster now, too. You don't want more? Hit the bell! Atari! Oh my god, wave seven. I'm gonna die. What yes, is he is good at that. We need we need a, like a reset bell. <laughs> yes. We need him to do the opposite. We throw him a treat, then he hits the reset. That's kind of what we need to program into him to do next. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. My god. <laughs> oh, wave seven though. I need oh, a, another row build up you. for getting to wave seven eight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Or you could avoid the falling repair blocks to let them complete the wall. Oh, that'd be even more difficult that you avoid the repair blocks mm -hmm. and they would add to the stack. Like it would put it in the hole. Um, that, that would, yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can see the broken picture there. For some reason, um twitch deleted my icons <laughs> oh yeah i noticed that that's like they're weird. all broken the bytes are broken i tried to oh. upload them before the show because i noticed that and they're like nah, there's no there's a problem like i think like it's them. on their back end like oh. i can't even upload them to replace them oh so that sucks oh Pixel. greedy <laughs> greedy, greedy cat. cat do you want one more uh yes i'll play one more okay. i he just needs to hit the bell one more time okay be a cute cat i'll go on big big for him big cat cat he did yeah. it. Yeah, there you go. 
Yum, 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 yum. Yep. Okay, yum, that's yum, the yum. last one. You're done. Good case. Nope. <laughs> He's it. It. Was he? <laughs> he was like, ah, <laughs> that's mine. You can't take that. That's how I get my treats. Thank you, Miss Command. Thank you for feeding the kitties. They're so happy. Needs a bit of a delay at the game over. Oh, no, I accidentally pressed the yeah, button. Yeah, you that pressed one time. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which way am I doing this? I think the not catching the repair blocks is a good idea because you are wanting to catch the repair catch everything but then a repair block comes down and you're like oh i gotta catch it but you actually don't want to of course there's a chance of you just not getting it just like you don't get the squids or the jellyfish the squids that's my bell my <laughs> bell <laughs> you're not allowed to take it are you sniffing for more are you trying to find some more it is an addictive game it is because you're like oh, i can do better i can do better Trying to think how it can be made better ah. with the joystick control yet does it cross? Because there is an issue with like I don't know the de oh. the debounce or something. It's like goes two it goes when you two. do one, but it's such a fast moving game. Yeah, that I think, usually it doesn't hurt you, but yeah. if you're trying to move over just one, needs a little bit more precision you, you do get used to how long you have to hold the joystick after a while yeah. like, and you can like graze them to get them too yes you can helps. hit it rather than that ah it landing on you so the zp8 video <laughs> game will have a level in it which atari has to protect his treat bell from the mean humans who want to take it away <laughs> yes. there is no treat bell in the zp8 game which is which is coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have played it on the show, have we? Have we not played it on the show? <gasps> we have. Right through, distracting me. Sorry. Uh, yes, we have. Yeah, a long time yeah. ago. But it was a, a long time ago. We haven't played the final version. I don't think. Needs trackball support. Every, everyone's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you always want tracks off. <laughs> VR PH said C. Sorry. Um. Oh yeah, we're gonna play with the. Uh... <laughs> VH said C. These are cat games you always want trackball support. Well, yes, I do. Because <laughs> we made a game with trackball. So it's not surprising. Uh, We're going to try the track and field. Oh, we might. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. This is like the be fun to play. third time I've got out the track and field controller. Yeah, usually at someone's behest in the chat who's like, oh, you should try the track and field controller. <laughs> there is only left, right, and button in this game. Yeah. So that's exactly what the track and field controller has. Don't know if this will be better. Well, it's Grab worth it, a try. Please. Grab it, please. Okay, give it a go. I don't know if this is going to work. I said trackball, not track and field. <laughs> we'll, we'll try trackball too. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it's, it's better. <laughs> it, it jumps. It always jumps by twos. No, I've seen you do it. No, no. it's it, try it, try it, <laughs> try it. It's very mushy controller. It jumps by twos. No. It does though. Oh. You see, like yeah, the minimum it, it, press it, on this is very, is very the, sensitive. Yeah, very. I can do one, but it's hard to do just one. Yeah. It it it's much just worse. as awkward, actually. Well, yeah. It's much worse than the joystick. Yeah. Ah, see, I tried to do one and it just did. It just as two. I pressed a tiny bit there and it went over two, which was right, but. Yeah, you need like the physical control of like a well-trained surgeon to <laughs> the yes. light touch, the light touch. I'm more like pushing against them when I when I Ooh. get them because he always goes two. But if he didn't make mm -hmm. it that fast, he wouldn't get all the way to the left or right. Can you hold That's that, true. please? Yeah. Uh, do I have the trackball handy? I'm pretty 
pretty sure I do. Is that trackball support, though? Every game has trackball support. Oh, really? Because it's different than paddles. Because it emulates joystick. I don't predict this will be good. <laughs> Never know. Depends how sensitive. Okay. There you go, Phaser Cat Games. We're playing with a trackball. It's not real. Oh boy. It's not real trackball. It's joystick emulated trackball because the game would have to support trackball. Oh, what am I doing? Why is this? <laughs> it's going to be weird. It's so hard to do. <laughs> it's because it's probably noticing like really subtle left and right movements. It is. Yeah. Oh, and up and down and it's not. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> because it's 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 not meant for a. A game like this is more meant for like precision and big movements. <laughs> Phaser Cat's like, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but if it had trackball support, it would be ah, a little dead. different. It'll be a little different. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to see how this you, is. You might do better with it than, than I do. <laughs> Let's see. Paddler Drive, that would be probably the most appropriate. It's cool though. VH said yeah, C. This is, uh, it's really cute. This is not ideal. Love the jellyfish. But it's not bad. There are only 12 columns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's so almost hard. harder. Yeah. It's so hard to get the precision. Yeah. It's interesting, though. 12 columns keyboard controller. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's another input. It, uh, you can't just plug in the keyboard controller. <laughs> no. Unless you know... Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you know which key presses are left and right. But that's not going to help you. Super cool, VHZC. Yes. So, um, yes, thank you. There you go. Uh, I, I think... It would be a very good thing to add um, driving controller or paddles. Yeah. Like even driving controller would be good because you have such precision. It keeps maybe. turning, right? It keeps turning, but it may not be fast enough to go from left to right. I think it would be. I don't know. It, it, yeah, because it emulates like almost like a joystick rotating. Yeah. It doesn't, but that's it's very similar to that. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it might be fast enough. I would just go paddles. Don't don't worry about that. <laughs> if 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 they want to. <laughs> if it supported paddles, you can make it super fast. The pr uh, driving controllers are much less people have driving controllers, mm. so that's going to be a problem. But if you make it an option, <laughs> and also driving controllers are much easier to read mm. um, than paddles. Paddles use up like con like tons. Come on, come on, come on so much of your programming time oh, like you have I see. to constantly read them oh i see i see i see so mm -hmm. it it makes it difficult <laughs> mike soul has both driving and paddle <laughs> controllers <sighs> mike wow that's pretty good yeah <laughs> <laughs> rotary encoder needs to be coded for movement yeah because mm. it it just like it constantly like it has to keep reading for like, did you go left? Did you go down? Did mm. you go right? Kind of like that. But yeah, okay. I can't remember exactly how yeah. it works. Um, super awesome. Thank you, VHZC, mm -hmm. for that game. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one we're going to play is Lawn Boy. Okay. It's not done. So we're only kind of give it getting a glimpse at it and kind of what it's about okay, okay. at this point um but before we take a look at it we're going to take a look at a small history of lawn mowing games through the ages <laughs> <laughs> and it's now time for the min mini documentary portion of the yeah, show <laughs> there are a surprising number of lawn mowing games <laughs> Uh, we're going to work, I'm just going to show two of them, but um, <laughs> we're going to work a little backwards and mm. show you one that was released like weeks ago. Okay. It just came out. 
It's crazy. Lawn mowing simulator. Cat. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. You get cuddled no. for that. No. Yeah. No. No. I think somebody talks on this one, so we'll just take a look at it. Keep it muted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Does this make the player the lawnmower man? <laughs> technically, yes. Yeah. But not the lawnmower man. <laughs> um so this is Lawnmower Simulation. It, it just came out on Steam. And I think it's for PS4 oh. as well. <laughs> so you can go third person. You can go first person. Is it the same company that did the farming simulator or whatever it is? I don't think so. No, because it seems... I, I, tried I, have, to I look, haven't played that game. I don't really... I tried I to look know it up. of it, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the 2600 now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is... Uh, this is crazy. Like, look, the trees get in your eyes. <laughs> I guess this would be a relaxing game to play. Like, you get yeah. the sound. You could put on headphones, so it sounds like... I bet you could put on headphones and you could simulate... Listening to music as you're... Listening to music while you mow. And the sound of a mower through headphones <laughs> so that the mowing is muffled. But you can still hear it. It's like... Ooh. <laughs> yeah anyway silly that is funny. um so this came out like months ago okay then there was one called uh mower mania okay for the vic 20 oh, ow, ow, ow. Kitty. oh kitty no he just had a sharp claw you need to get your he claws didn't, cut, he, didn't, don't you? he didn't do it purposefully um and then there was um a game called hover bother very british um uh, and i played i played it on oh, the, really? On the C64. Nice. It's, it's actually really fun playing yeah. lawnmower uh, games. Oh, your cartridge. Oh, yeah, we're not playing it yet. Yeah. <laughs> so this was made by um, Jeff Minter, who actually also made Tempest 2000 for the Jaguar. Okay. Um, so this was put out for um, Atari 8-bit and Commodore 64. And it was ported to Windows in 2002. And it was ported to the Intellivision three years ago oh a okay. modern version of it let's just fast forward a little bit here virtual mower must have had a dull blade <laughs> so there's like dogs that attack you oh. or is that a cat and there's people that chase you and you don't want to mow the flowers or the people get mad see that guy there he's really mad that you accidentally mowed one thing of his flowers which <gasps> makes sense mower overlord oh it's a dog yeah dog tolerance <laughs> dog loyalty I think you can sick the dog on other people ah. to, to to get them to attack. Oh, there we go. There, the dog's about... Oh, the dog's after you. Wow. So... You have to corral the people? Is that the idea? I can't... I can't remember. It's so long. But the, the goal is to mow the lawn. Gotcha. <laughs> dog going after you? Crazy. It's definitely the only game I've seen with a dog tolerance meter. <laughs> yes. I always I heard that name hover bover, but never knew what it was. Oh, what's That's this? So out funny. of there. Out of there. Out of there. None of that. Um and then there was a game called Advanced Lawnmower Simulation Simulator <laughs> in nineteen eighty eight for the ZX 88? Spectrum. Eighty eight. That long ago. ZX Spectrum, Amstrad, C D C and Amiga. This is eighty three, eighty four. Um, so that's quite old. Wow. And that one wow. was just a joke. Even though there was already lawnmower games. Tons uh, of them, apparently. I don't know why they, they would think it was a joke to make it. <laughs> it's funny. people actually play them. Funny. Um, what was I going to say? He just ran over some of the flowers. Um, <laughs> it's funny how there, there are a lot of games related to, like, paper boys and, yeah. and like, lawn mowing and... and chores that kids would have to do like <laughs> somebody actually made a joke in the thread for this game okay um for kev kelly's game saying you make a lot of work simulation games because <laughs> <laughs> he because he made um a lot uh cross dock as well which is moving boxes we played it, played oh, it a while back yes, yes 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 and he's also working on a game called lineman 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 where you're fixing power lines oh really <laughs> yeah and bag boy as well yes where yeah. you're you're taking carts back he should fi finish that one that one's <laughs> really really cool the bag yeah. boy um he hasn't released line lineman yet no. he's just okay. released videos of it nice <laughs> um so let's uh check out lawn boy and he's got two um builds of it go okay. for it 
So load the first one up because that actually has enemies. And then the second one doesn't have enemies. When you say the first one, you mean? Uh, 928, okay. the earlier one. Next one down. Next one, the bin. Yeah, yeah not the basic. Doesn't run basic. Lawn Boy! So this is the older yes, version? Yeah. So there's like bees on there. Oh, I see. And this one is not really functional, this one. I think oh. it just stays on this screen. Um, so there's bees, you mow the lawn. Um, you get points in this one. Uh, it gets darker out. And I think there's lightning, just like in Bag Boy. He's included the lightning and it starts flashing. So I guess you have to get off the lawn. Oh, there's the lightning. How do you get off the lawn? I guess oh, it's you, not in it's there not, yet. It's not there yet. Uh, the bees are going to get me! Kev Kelly says, I hope to revisit Bag Boy one day. Something's still in learning. Yeah, it's such a cool concept. Like, there's cars going across, and you pick up bonuses, and there's the boss, like in Timber. Oh, right? yeah, Timber. We were playing that on the where you get the boss gets mad. Playing that on at the arcade on we the were. weekend. Yep. Game over. Very and it starts cool. raining. Oh, that's what happens. You have to finish it before it starts before raining. Before it starts raining. Such a cool, cool concept. Yep. Activision vibes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and I really like the uh, font for the the score. Yeah. That's good. So, top one now. And this one, you can progress a little bit, but it has no enemies. So. No. That's why, oh, I see. That's I why see. I wanted to show both of them. Okay. And it's very quick to finish the level. And it has sound, too. Next one. So let me read a bit about what he wants to do with it. I've been playing around with some ideas partially inspired by R. Siddle's lawnmower screensaver, screensaver post. And we, we showed that. The idea was something I had thought about in the past and finally did I decided to take a stab at it after working out some details. Um, okay, so I have to tell you how to do this. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is actually very involved. This is you you're raking up the leaves. Okay. So um, go for it. Press the button. So you have to go over some leaves and then press the button. Those? Yeah, and they go into a, a black plastic bag at the bottom. Don't go there yet. Oh. You have to fill it up to the top. It takes about six six yeah. leaves. Yeah. No? No? Your uh, rake has to be over it. Oh. It's quite sensitive. Yeah, you have to be exactly the right spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think your bag's full. So go over to the bag and tie it up by pressing the button. There you go. One garbage bag full of leaves. Oh, cute. Oh, and you have and to get a number of them in time gotcha. to get the bonus. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is showing some of the functionality. That's hilarious. Love the timber graphics. Same programmer did, did Tapper. Tapper. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I didn't does. know that. They yeah. look exactly the same style of cartoonish like the graphics. the cartoonish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapper's fun too. Oh my yeah. God, I love Tapper. I see those green stripes and think of the original football. <laughs> <laughs> um... I Very figure cool. I would share my concept. This, like some other of my projects, have started a bit of a learning exercise. Much of the ideas behind the program have got stuck on while making Manatee Madness and Bag Boy. Oh, do I not have that listed Manatee as one of your Madness. games? Manatee Madness. Um, but I've learned well uh, working on Crosstalk, so I'm hoping that the lessons I learn here, I can revisit those other games with better insight. My goal with this program is to try to combine the elements from my other games, see if I can integrate them into co coherent design, as well as try to learn how to use the super chip RAM. Because there's a lot of data you have to keep track of, because the whole lawn, you have to know whether you've mowed it or not. So it takes a lot of RAM up. So you have to get all the bags uh, before your timer runs down. I think it's three to get the bonus. Okay, go tie it off. Go tie it off. Yeah. That's two. Uh. Yeah, it's very sensitive. I, d I don't know. I think the mm. sensitivity should go down a bit. And as long as your rake is over it, because it's very hard. Yeah, you don't have to do much long here. No, this isn't really... Uh... Uh, so the gameplay, a storm is approaching and Lawn Boy must finish mowing his lawns. Avoid obstacles and animals to finish mowing a field of grass, but if the timer runs out, the sky will get a little bit darker and the storm closer. So, so that was like the, the, the first. Yeah, so you see that in this one, and then you see finishing a lawn in this. Um, but you don't have to mow much, and there's no enemies. Um, that, that, uh, to do, so additional obstacles, animals, a swarm. Uh, when they touch the Lawn Boy, he will slow down. Snake will slither across from right to left to right. Touch one, it'll cause Lawn Boy to momentarily pause. A bunny, avoid running over the bunny. Ugh. It will try and get in your way. Running over it will cause a loss of gas. 
Gopher, it will dig holes in your way. Falling in one of the holes will cause a momentary pause and a loss of gas. Rain, puddles. Rain will fall from the sky and create puddles that will get in your way. Very cool. Very water. Nice. Water will flow up and down the screen, causing an obstacle. Sprinkler. Sprinkle heads will pop up and shoot water in a direction. Birds fly by or pooping. Mm -hmm. Bonuses. Gas tank. Increase the movement. Yeah. Additional gas tank. Uh, so he's got six there. Yeah. Umbrella resets the status bar counter. Drink, momentary speed increase. Clock sets storm back one stream, screen. Oil cools down the mower. Mm. So he's got a, a lot more a lot information here. A lot of ideas here. Yeah, yeah. going there. So a lot of really, really cool yeah. ideas. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. Kind of designed the screen changes working on different enemies. Yeah. yeah. I like the long cleaning phase too, nostalgic. It's like a fun little like interstitial between yeah, the... to break the, it up. The, yeah. Break it up a bit, yeah. So really a uh, great start to yeah. the concept. So looking forward to advancements in that. Atari, Atari 2600, dude, this reminds me of a C64 game I had back in the day called Pedro. Oh, I wonder if I can find I that. that one. Interesting. I've never heard of that one. No. Nope. Uh, let's see if I can find it. C64 Pedro. Almost everybody has, oh yeah, has put a video up about every single game ever made especially for more well-known oh, by Imagine. Oh. Mm. Let's switch it over so everyone can see. Let's get to the game. I'm sure somebody's talking here. So this guy walking around on, <laughs> on the grass. Funny little drawing of a guy. What is he doing? Is he going to pull up weeds? Oh, he's jumping. He's got, <laughs> se he's got some seeds there. Yeah. Uh, so he needs, to, oh, he's got a pink hat now. Oh, oh he just planted planting. one. I think he has to go back and get some more seeds <laughs> every time. He's got some boxes too. Yeah. No. Nope. Of course, we're not listening to, uh, commentary. The commentary. So we don't know what's going on. Because it can get flagged on. or something. Uh, yeah. Or there's no, that's music. Fair. That's fair. But it does. Yeah, it is somewhat. Oh, oh, ants. Ants. He's got some ants. He must be protecting a garden by the Oh, the ants are eating. Like oh my God. <gasps> the ants are eating is... His, his stuff he's planting. Don't know what kind Neat. of seeds. That's Plants left. 34. Uh-oh. Doesn't seem to be able to plant things very quickly. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, Yeah, neat. it's kind of a, a lawn. Ants the size of dogs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are frightening. Those are, those are killer ants there. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to the last mm. game of the normal show before we do After Dark. And it is called Cone Ball, and it's played by Kev Kelly as well. Mm. Uh, and this is, uh, this game's further along. And okay. It's actually a one or two player game. So I'm going to get you to play the two player, the single player first. Okay. So go for it. Okay. Um, so this is posted originally to October 4th, and this build is from today. Okay. Um, so it's a little involved, so don't start it just yet. Yes, please tell me how to play it first. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get mad. <laughs> I do get mad. Uh, each player can shoot at or grab and throw a ball towards the four cones, okay. trying to get the cones across the goal or back wall of the opponent's side of the screen. So you're knocking things back with the ball. Okay, you're knocking things back. Okay. Um, so it has advanced since then. Uh, you also get, like, a bullet, um, as well that you can throw at the opponent that, at the opponent? that disintegrates them for a bit <laughs> everything's not written out just okay. yet but yep, yep, uh, yep, that's yep. kind of the basics um i'm thinking of it uh that ti in 4a game where you defend your picnic, picnic yeah yeah the, the ant from the ants that's that might cool, have been the, cool well game. no the, the pedro the game, other one I yeah think that's but that, that would make a very cool game yeah okay go for it one player You'll kind of figure it out. So the the one in the middle oh, that's me. is the ball that you use to knock back those four. So you're yellow. So what am I doing? Well, you get the... Go touch the ball in the middle. In the middle? Yeah, knock back his things. There you go. Oh. And you can also use your yellow thing to shoot at him. And avoid that um, green ball, because that's his ball. It'll disintegrate you. So don't touch the green ball. I'm confused. He shot you. Yeah, no, no, I know. I shot him, but the primary objective is to knock back <laughs> we all shot those each other. knock back all those yellow <laughs> yellow posts. So with I'm with it with that, with the uh, purple one. That's your main objective. 
So now you've got the purple. Shoot it at one of those yellow things. Ah. Ah. Just get past him. Damn. Um, this game is essentially complete. It has some glitches to work out, but I, I do want to add the following. Sound. A game that lacks a lot of sound effects. I want to have the sound for the shooting, throwing, maybe steps, maybe some more exciting sounds for a goal. Finish the scorekeeping score. I believe I have it where once the cones drop down, a score bar will appear, but I'd like to use the numbers to maybe keep total games won. Maybe a better start screen, a game over screen, maybe a simple AI. So you've got some of his knockback. Mm -hmm. He's got one of yours knocked back to couple. Mm -hmm. If you told me this was American Gladiators game, I would believe it. Yeah, it's got that kind of vibe because you're like throwing things at your mm -hmm. opponent and you've also got objectives as well. That's funny. There's a lot going on. And some for some reason, you were able to throw the, the purple thing very fast one time. Yeah. It went really, really quick. Oh, oh, just missed. Go grab it. Grab it. Oh, he grabbed it. Oh. Throw it. Throw it at his thing. Throw it. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Um, uh, then he updated it today. He said, I was playing around with some new missile mechanics. Right now I have it where once you start each player's missile on the top and bottom of the screen, bouncing back and forth. Each time you touch the ball, the missiles will return to the player. Press fire and the missiles are set to go back and forth until the player touches the ball again. The AI still needs some work, but is playable for now. I also try to work on the scan line issue when the ball collides with the playfield pixels. I fixed some, but not all the issues. Seems pretty stable here. I haven't seen anything yet. Um, I think I'll have to define the temporary variables based on three conditions. Regular, thrown, and hold. Then I can try and consolidate and eliminate any conflicting code. Oh, no, oh, so it bounced there. Mike Soul says, I like the character sprites. Yeah, they're really mm. good animation. Nice, you got one. He got you. He's not great, <laughs> I have to say. He's not... Uh, he's, he's hitting not you a, a lot, and he's got yours knocked back quite a bit. Ugh. Mine? Yeah, look, yeah, your well, greens are knocked some back. Some of it is just uh, figuring out uh, the movements. Ah! How did... He seems to be grabbing the purple <sighs> one go. quite a lot. Sometimes I just accidentally... He grabs it, but he doesn't seem to use it too often. Like... Oh, and, and sometimes it randomly pushes out, and sometimes he seems... Oh, he's got one of yours now. Hmm? He's knocked one of yours. Yeah. Oh. Instead, it will, it will jump a couple. Haven't tested on hardware. Yeah, it seems stable, but it, it did jump a bit. I saw the screen jump. Oh, so Come on. You did hit that. Yay. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, one. <laughs> one. There you go. No, we'll play two players. Okay. Now. Yeah, I like the characters. Oh, uh, you can't reset. You can't. There's no reset. Okay, I'll we'll have to go back into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite of couch compliant. It has no reset at all. It's still a work in progress. Two players. Okay, so I am green. Yeah. Tanya's yellow. Oh, how do you grab it? We're both dead. <laughs> yeah. Did you oh. just touch it? Yeah, you have to use the button. But it, I, Oh, I, to I, grab it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. What? Yeah. Why didn't it go it straight? Goes, it doesn't go straight. <laughs> Never? Or sometimes? It doesn't go straight. Oh, my God. Oh, oh come on. Hit it. You've had practice. Yeah, I'm still not. Oh, God. Come on, I was too close. Come here, you run as fast as the ball, so. Ah! How do you shoot it straight? And yet sometimes it randomly hits things. Oh, it never, it always seems to shoot on an angle. Maybe it only shoots on an angle. Oh, maybe. Maybe so you have to. Ugh. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even look other. at like the the bullets. Like I I, I don't even uh, hit it. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is madness. Madness. 
It's like randomly pushing mine. Good, because I'm not... Oh, ah. finally. Finally. <laughs> Double elimination. Ah. Stop it. Oh. Yay. It does only throw on angles. Which is a thing. Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. That's more like it. Get it? Hit something? No! No. Oh, you can steal it. Oh, yeah, you can. Do it! Yeah! It's got some, like, classic Atari sounds in it. Oh, you blocked it. I think I killed myself. No! What? It hit it! Oh, it's hitting it over and over again. Do you have to, like, actually... Oh, that's the green one. Yeah. Anyway. See, but that time... There we go. It must depend on who... <gasps> that time it who hit it. Who releases it. Oh. Do you know? Because... It keeps it, track it, of who releases come it. Come on. One down. Shot straight. It definitely has, like, a weird angle. It does. I don't know what dictates the slowness or fastness of it. Come on, throw it. There we go. It's, it's very I weird. I just keep running into... I, I can't get my bullet back. It seems like the only time you get your bullet it's back... It's purple. When you hit when the you purple. Have... There we go. That's when you get it back. It's when you touch the purple. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. Give it. Nope. Or you die. Or you die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, that should have pushed it back. <laughs> it should have pushed it back. Do you do you find that uh, sometimes you're like, it hits it and it doesn't seem to do anything? I stole it from you. Oh, you did. Oh, come on, throw it where I want you to throw it. No. I didn't steal it. You hit it from the back. I it know, that time. Oh. oh. Does it always throw it up? No, threw it down that time. Mm. There we go. Oh, see, yours went straight. Maybe no, it depends it didn't. on... It was still yes, an it angle. Did. It was still an angle. I swear to you. It's a slight angle. Oh, see, it went down. <laughs> it's so funny. It seems almost random. One more. I haven't even moved that one. Oh, oh what? What just going happened? On? I don't know. Something weird happened there. No, no. Oh, I eliminated myself. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very nice use of five sprites. Like they're wow. all, they're all in use. Like the two players, the two missiles, and the ball are all in use. Yeah. You realize that 2021 is the 50th anniversary of commercialized video, video games. games. Mm. Is it? Yeah. 1971? Mm. What was the first? Was it Pong? Yeah. Uh, it came out in 71? Maybe. That's very cool. Thank you, Elena Wispangle Shipper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hard to keep them entertained during lockdown. Uh, you cannot shoot very close to the cone. It will skip it. <laughs> the D-train. Um, anyone who has ever whipped a red playground ball <laughs> knows that they curve. So what was the backstory Kev Kelly gave? Hold on. Uh, let's see. Sounds like lock and chase. Oh, I can't scroll back on that one. Uh, uh, yeah. Pushing cones by throwing balls at them. Uh, if you point at in a direction and release the ball, it should be thrown. In Stella, it'll jump a couple. I haven't tested on hardware. I haven't programmed in throwing yet. Only half couch compliant, lol. The slight angle, I've debated throwing straight or not. Probably straight is too easy because you would just destroy it. Okay. Yeah, we missed a lot of chat. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we're both playing. <laughs> That's always the problem. <laughs> Computer space. Yeah, they. 
I think they did release computer space mm. into the bars, right? Arcade. Into the bars. And people are like, I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. Then they did Pong, which was much easier. Okay, play. Ah! I hit my own. Yeah, cool. Oh, I passed it to you. There we and go. I hit my own. <laughs> oh, you can hit them from the back side of it. Sort of. Kind of like. I think that you're almost better off throwing it from further away. You are. Oh, for sure. Oh, stuck note. Noises are crazy. Oh. How come it sometimes it's like even so when even when you have slow. control over it, it's like that, that doesn't always help. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sometimes it's not having control over it, which, which is more like. <laughs> it's kind of cool that way. Where? Oh, what was that? I was like throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, and getting it back again. Double elimination where there's it's nobody on the fun. screen is so funny. It's like no one's playing. <laughs> no one's on the screen. Yes. Yes. No. Where am I? Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, right into your hands. Get it. Get it. Oh, missed. Sometimes it's like I just can't catch up to oh. it. Come on. It's deadly balls in the middle of the screen. No, you can't catch up to it. It's so funny. It might be good if you could move just a bit faster than the yeah, ball. Yeah, because it's like you're chasing it constantly. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Um, the fact that you have to press the button to get the ball. Instead of just always, automatically picking it up? Yeah, seems to constantly make my bullet shoot. Like, I, I can't even really control it. Yeah, it does. Uh, That's the problem. If you're holding on to your bullet, it will shoot. Oh, God. Stop it! Oh, the bits icon is back weird oh, yeah. <laughs> it is back hey yeah. what's up with that skill get it oh nope oh come on nice Are you even hitting the right ball here <laughs> they both are the same both buttons on the joystick get it no 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 what uh you can't be too close to it Nice. I love how it goes off the screen. That's really like quite quite nice. Yes. Oh, come on. Hit it. Aww. No. Ah. <laughs> Cuz like you're chasing it. You you can't <laughs> you it's can't like you can't it. catch it. Yeah. You have to you have to go the opposite way and anticipate where it's going to go. Ah. I have no idea how to control whether it's going to shoot it up or down. Oh. One more. Oh, so no. close. So yeah, <laughs> keep going. Oh. oh, you caught it just in time. Hit it from behind. Come on, you want Get to. It. Oh, no. Oh. oh. I still have a ways to go. Mm, two hits. Oh, come on! Oh, come <laughs> on! There we oh, go. No, no you, you're still one, and I'm two away. What? I hit it! No, you didn't. Why? <laughs> it went off on an angle, as it always does. There we go. <laughs> My brain wants at, one, at least one player to be orange for, for traffic, traffic cones. cones. That'd be funny. 
Um, I can make you automatically grab it. Right now it just bounces off unless you grab it. I think automatically grabbing it would be good. <laughs> because then I would be more inclined to use my other bullet, maybe? Mm -hmm. I was working on the letter uh, player's chooser choice, chooser uh, color. That would be nice. Just on like the title screen, is you good, can just yeah. go left and right, yeah, yeah, or yeah. up and down, I guess, because the colors. Yeah. Okay. Um, one more, because we're more? tied. Okay. Oh, it didn't change the uh, the graphics. What graphics? My my guy was like wins or something. <laughs> it said wins. Wins? Because it said player one wins. And mine was still oh. look like wins instead of the player character. Sometimes oh. you come back like right away. Oh. <laughs> Can take a little while. Oh. No. Haha. -ha. No. Oh no. Get it. Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Why does it do that sometimes and bounce off it some other times? It's just going back and forth continuously. Should almost make it like a pong game. <laughs> well, it kind of is. Well, Multi pong. It was on a roll there for a second. It was. Well, because they're so close together, right? It's almost like breakout. Ah, in between. Oh, it hit the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> hit it? Ah. It really does have to hit it, like, dead on. Yeah, it does. Can't be like... Ah, stop ah. it! And sometimes you, you show back up really fast. And sometimes not. Oh! Nice. Yeah! Uh. Ah! Wake up! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> We are getting better at it. Oh. Get it? No. Get it? No. Oh. Yeah. Get it? Ah, oh, double elimination. Yeah. Oh. No. I love the animation of when it goes and right down the side. It goes down the chute. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! <laughs> Come on, wake up! No! Yes. Ah, oh, got eliminated by your thing. Oh no, you're so close. I'm not even. No, it's randomly hitting things. <laughs> Don't do that. No! Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Hit it. Yes. No. Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Good game. Mm -hmm. Just needs a little tweaking for more control of, like, I don't know. You know what ball? it is? You have to be moving in the direction to, to direct the ball. If you, oh. if you stand still, it kind of goes anywhere. Oh. If you're moving, it seems to direct it based on your motion. Don't, like, don't you can press try. a button. Yeah, no, no don't worries. Don't press a button to come back on. I want to try that. So if I go up and let go, it goes up. It, it tends to, yeah. And then, or if you're going straight towards it, I think it's more likely to go straight. Now that one went up. Let's see if I go down. It goes down. Yeah. Oh. So, so it is based on your movement. And I kind of figured that out towards the end. I'm like, That's oh, why you, you have better control. Wipe the floor. <laughs> So if you go up and then Why go... Why did I tell him this no, now? It didn't no. <laughs> work. Watch. I go I go up. That worked. The last one didn't. It went I down. I mean, there must be... Maybe there is that some... That went down and I went up. So... Random? I don't know. No idea. Yes! Yeah. Kev, Kelly, and the kids. <laughs> Good job. So if I go to the right, it went up. Come on. Go back. Oh. Come back here. Oh, I have to press a button. If I go to the right, it goes down. It's so random. Go to the right, goes up. If I go to the right and up, it goes up. If I go to the right and up, it goes down. Mm. It's is it every second one? I don't know. Let's see. Up, down. 
down? No. No, it's not even that. It's just random. It is kind of random then. I don't know. I was is having it... more success with it, though, when I was... Oh, okay. you know what it is? What? I think I figured it out. What? Yep. It's based on its last direction of movement. Oh. Watch it. It was just going up. It'll be going up. Now it's going down, and I capture it. It'll be going down. Uh, it's based on its direction of its movement. Its last direction of movement. Uh, it's not based on the character's direction of movement. Interesting. I don't know if that's a good thing, though, because you have to memorize the yeah. last direction it well, was no, going. And it feels more spontaneous and, and chaotic. I think, that, it I think does. that's cool. So I mean, it's yeah. going down, so if I go over here... I don't think there. anyone's expecting you to go, up. it's going down, now shoot down. <laughs> Knowing that... Yeah, it helps. It helps. Yeah. But should it stay like that, or should it be like, oh, I'm going up, that's the direction I want to throw it. Maybe. I think that would be better than memorizing which direction. Because yeah, but it, it feels more chaotic that it way. Does. I think that's fun. His son um, is looking forward to watching this later. So He'll he, be excited. He developed it with his, with oh, his kids. Oh, very nice. Yeah, as yeah. a project. I think I saw that in the chat somewhere. Things yeah. went by really fast, unfortunately, in the chat. We missed a bunch yeah. of... Yeah. Yeah. So, I figured out mm. your, your pattern, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it just memorizes the direction it was going in. Yeah. Mm. Super cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Very fun. Very, very great game. Um, so um, we played ISS, mm -hmm. which is brutal and unforgiving, but yeah, awesome but concept. Still playable. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, I think it needs a couple tweaks to make it a little bit easier to play or I think some more waves options. Waves would be good or something. Waves like where that. it repairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be, that would mm. uh, extend the game. Chaos versus control. Not yeah. chaos. If you memorize, well, it's not chaos. Yeah, but you, that's a lot to think about when you're mm. running around and dodging as, people. As soon as I memorized it, I was like destroying Yeah, but you blocks. weren't playing against someone. No, I wasn't. Right? Yeah. It's it's not something that's easy to hold on. You know, hold on to. <laughs> a squid game 2600 yeah. yet. <laughs> uh, keep them out. Uh, yeah. Super cool. Mm hmm a little harder than joysticks <laughs> yeah. uh, to, to, to move. But yeah. if you're precise enough, you can get it. You can get it, yeah. Um, but he says he might be adding paddle control, which mm. I think will change it completely. Is he, or did he say he doesn't want to? <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens, yeah. But it's a cute, it's a cute game. It yeah. plays really well, and it's really fun. And nice yeah. concept, and lots yeah. of variety of uh, enemies coming down. Yeah. Uh, Lawn Boy, really looking forward to that progressing. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a lot of cool enemies and things you have to do. Yeah. Uh, Kev. Yep. That Kev sounds Kelly. really fun. Yeah. Comeball. Right. It's awesome right out of the gate. Yeah. It's crazy and chaotic, which is a lot of fun for two players. But adding that slight bit more of control into it, mm -hmm. I think, would add, add quite a bit. Um, where you have control of the ball more or, I don't know, some a little bit of control. Not sure. But uh, really great start. And I love two-player games because the strategy comes into it so quickly when you're starting to play with two players yeah. because it's different every time and every yeah. person you play with. Mm -hmm. Super, super cool. Um, so coming up on the show over the next little bit, let's take a look at the schedule. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I already got it loaded. There we go. Very good games tonight, yes. Yes. Super fun. Um, so we're going to be playing Star Master in After Dark tonight. Okay. Um, see if I can get the third patch at least. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. It doesn't look too hard. It just looks like you have to just get it right and get be very precise with your shooting and be very quick. Mm. Um, on the 19th, if Prince of Persia is still on track to be released like the day before, I think, or two days before... Uh, we'll be playing that on the 19th. Um, that's a Atari 8-bit mm. game. Um, that's a rolling one. I just, I'll put it in whenever I don't have something ready. Meryl that might even be for this Friday. Meryl oh, thank you, VHZC! Yay! Thank you so much for subscribing! I think I saw the current release for the 19th. Yeah, it got bumped up from the 13th or something, and I moved it then. So Moved it down. As yeah. long as it doesn't get bumped again. I think he was he was trying to figure out um, some memory issues. Oh, I, I um, see. Rearranging to make it all fit in one disc image. Okay. Um, on the 29th, we have a Halloween a homebrew special mm -hmm. with an exclusive secret world premiere. 
actually secret. I don't know what it is, and I think he's going to keep it that way. Nice. Uh, we'll see. Uh, from Mick Crocker, Mick Muse, who did Deep Stone Catacomb. Nice, nice, uh, nice. So it's probably going to be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and we're playing a bunch of other uh, uh, Halloween-type scary games uh, as well. I've got some 7800 and 2600, and I think Mick Crocker's going to be a 2600 game. Um, we've got a high score competition through the 2600 High Score Showdown, Season 5, which mm -hmm. is held on Facebook. They're doing Crazy Balloon. They haven't done a homebrew in a while, so homebrew popped up for that. So we'll come, be competing in that on November 5th. On uh, November 16th, we've got uh, a bunch of exclusive world premieres and doing an interview with a bunch of developers. Very cool. Three developers who made games back in the 80s on base, on, in BASIC for the Atari 8-bit, and now they're redoing them in assembly language for the Atari 8-bit and oh, the yes. Atari yeah, 5200. You were, you were that. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're compiling things for the Atari 8-bit and 5200. So we'll be talking with all three of them. And these were games they got published in magazines back in the 80s. Nice, nice. Um, so that'll be very cool. So Eric uh, and... Oh, I'll have to figure out how to say their names. Ann Schwitz, Ooh. Robert Ann Schwitz, and John Weisgerber. Yeah. So VHZC, you only have a couple weeks to do your Halloween theme, keep them out. So we can oh, he makes it. a game every week. So <laughs> shouldn't he be That's a problem? That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he could hack hack one that he already has. That's true. <laughs> um, or Toko, oh, I was about to hack it. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, we could play his uh, game of the bear game. Yeah. Again, which is very Halloween themed. Yeah. And yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It I is, think actually. he has updated it since. I think he's added more levels. Mm. So maybe we can play that game again. Maybe. We will see. Mm -hmm. oh, mine's broken. Mine, Mine's broken too. Maybe it's fine for other people's. I don't know. Or maybe it came back, but not on ours. I don't know. That's Atari weird. Kicks demo releases in two weeks as well. So yeah. Ooh. So I'll have to put that in. In the schedule. Somewhere. The schedule. Yep. Excellent. Game of the Bear is an ending now. So there we go. Ah. So maybe I can, we can uh, put that in there. Uh, can't have too many 8-bit to 5200 conversions. That is correct. Uh, so, and we also have an exclusive secret world premiere coming up at some point from Muddy Funster. Uh, in the, on, in December. And we have an exclusive secret world premiere coming up from MK Smith as well. Um, some amazing, uh, those are 7800 games, both of those. Um, there are so many amazing 7800 games coming up either at the end of this year or beginning of next year. It's the year of the 7800 this year and next year yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's a lot out of, of 7800 stuff coming. Oh, cool. Oh my god, they're cool. so like it'll blow all your minds. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Been beta testing a bunch of stuff yes. and it's unbelievable. I did get to see some of that too. Yeah, so, and we did yeah. some beta testing. Mm -hmm. uh, Crossbow says, James, better get busy upgrading his 5200. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I've got all the parts now. Uh, I'm a little busy with some film work in the next week. I'll be done that on next Wednesday. So maybe mm. not this weekend, but the weekend after. Mm. I can set aside some time yeah. and do the upgrades to that. It is a great time to own the 7800. S. Ramirez, I believe, is on a lot of beta testing teams. <laughs> yes. Because he's an amazing player. Yes. Um, so he knows. He knows some of the stuff that's coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, the uh, Homebrew Awards are coming out in February. And the cutoff is at December 31st. For, mm -hmm. So it encompasses all of 2021. All the games. And there's a lot of games this year. So that'll be a lot of fun. And we've expanded the 7800 uh into last year it was work in progress mm -hmm. and f completed mm -hmm. this year we've added categories for ports mm -hmm. and original games nice so, so you now there's them. four awards for 7800 7, we split them because of how big the 7800 homebrew scene is getting yeah yeah um that's, that's so it's very fair. very appropriate to, yeah. <laughs> to expand it because of how many like there's lots of originals and also yeah. lots of uh ports yeah. mostly ports actually People like doing ports. Mm. Crossbow says, I'm only actively testing one 7800 game in progress right now. Mm. Well, there are a lot coming up. So, mm -hmm. um, What else? I think 
that's it for now. Lots of stuff. Yeah, which is great. Yeah, it's good to have content. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good to have things to show. Yeah, and also that Secret World premiere with uh, Mighty Funster and Man K. Smith are also going to be on the show being interviewed, interviewed yeah. about those games. Yeah, that's So fun they'll too. be there at the at least the beginning of it. Yeah, good um, stuff. So they can talk about their games. Yeah. You guys can ask them questions. Yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. We'll play the games. <laughs> yeah, but you keep our consoles running. <laughs> yes, you do, Crossbow. <laughs> keep them up and running and looking great. Mm -hmm. At least the output. He does, he does clean them up a bit too, which is good. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun on the Intellivision Day. Yeah. Last episode Lots too. of people watching. People seem yeah. to have really positive response to it. Yeah, wanted they more did. Intellivision yeah. related games. It's and... not going to be a regular thing because it's we stick to Atari. But once yeah. in a while, maybe if I pick up another homebrew yeah. for Intellivision or something really cool comes out, then yeah. I'll do another thing. Yeah. Um, it's nice to pepper these things mm -hmm. in, right? I'm yeah. still waiting on that Vectrix show. That that'll come I'm well before. That, that that's <laughs> that's probably the next one. But I have to do an alteration to my Vectrex yes. first. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. To get the sound from buzzing, mm -hmm. which is a very simple upgrade. Mm. Um, but if I get the 5200 going before then, I'll do a 5200 kind of day. Where yes. I play a bunch of 5200 games so yeah. that's more likely a 5200 day first uh mm -hmm. it is nice to have a special console day every once in a while it is just to switch it up a bit mm -hmm. show show the other side of <laughs> classic homebrews what those other people are doing and developing <laughs> that's right 8-bit homebrews uh, as somebody pointed out it's not an 8-bit system uh the intellivision is actually a 16 16 bit 16 oh no it's nope. uh, sorry it was uh zero page there is no zero oh, page. Oh, there's no zero page in the Intellivision. On the Intellivision. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Yeah. It, is, it is an 8-bit console, but there is no zero page because of the addressing, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Need to show, show some ColecoVision then. We did a ColecoVision day one time when I got um, when I got the ColecoVision, mm. when I bought my RGB ColecoVision. So. Mm. And I only have one game for it, so you've already played that game. <laughs> um, but we'll do that. We'll do that now and then as well. It's treat time. Yum, yum, oh, yum, yum. Oh, thank you. You got to see them scatter. See, see the, see Are all the put, cats. Are you put the camera on them for a second? Yes. Then, if there's anything more. Because we're not more. playing, so. Yeah. Okay. There's a. There we go. There's the bell. The bell. Be Pi too many. Pixels gathering. Oh, Tari's going for the bell. Oh. Ding. Oh, that's Peace. a lot. Yeah. We still have another I know. game to play, well, as so. Long as if they're split, it's not so bad. So coming up, we're going to be playing uh, Star Master in After Dark. So stick around for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to thank all the people who tuned in today. And thank you, VHZC, mm -hmm. for feeding the cats. Come on, kitty. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. No, not there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, thank you. Uh, fat cats. World needs more yes. fat cats. <laughs> yes. More chonkers. More chonkers. Uh, oh, <laughs> Cafe Man 2D, thank you for tuning in. Crossbow, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Nostalgia, Charles Whelan, Kev Kelly, VHZC, Gray Defender. Hey, Gray Defender, we just watched your um, review of Pac Man. Pac Man 8K. Yes. By New Quiche. Yes, we did. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Vitoko, Danny VC, Mike Soul, Nostalgic. Uh, Phaser Cat Games, uh, Alina Wispangle Shipper. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the show. If oh, you if you scroll up a couple more, Mike Soul. What no, 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 no. Oh, I'll Owens? tell you after. I'll tell oh, you after. Kitten. Oh, Nutty O three. So you have two. No, nope, no. Nope. Read the line. <laughs> Yeah, I'm also, also this is Nutty O3, I'm out as trans to the online communities I'm okay. in. Okay, yeah, very cool. So that that's that's a different name for you. Yes. Excellent, okay. Because I recognize Nutty O3. Yes. Uh, did they use it in this ch chat before? Oh, yes, oh, yes. Okay, that's why. Yeah. That's a very long new name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Buck Owens, uh, Rendered Ghost, uh, Atari 2600 Dude. Oh my God! So many people today. Ted Bundy okay. with two Y's. 
and yeah, everybody else who is lurking. You're missing the dance. <laughs> no, they got plenty. They got lots. <laughs> Ding, 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 Oh, ding. Crossbow will be listening in the background while wa trying to get a 5200 working properly nice. during After Dark. Right. Excellent. Um, so stay uh, tuned mm -hmm. uh, while we try and get our patch uh, for the third patch for Star Master. I love how he says we. Which is... <laughs> We're both did I did I how far did I get in the last the last round? No did idea. I hit patch one at least? No, you didn't. I, don't think I think you've I only got one patch out of all these, sadly. Of, I can't of, remember which of one. Star Master, you mean? Yeah. Of all the games. No, 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 no. No. I do There's more than down. one. You do write them down. Okay. There's been a couple. I'll have to look it up. But like the ones that have multiple levels, sometimes I'll get the lower ones. Oh, but yeah, okay. I think yeah. I might have gotten the lower. So we'll be going for the wing commander yeah. level, which is level three, because I've got one and two. Yeah. We'll see if you got the first one. I can't remember, but we'll have to look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. Keep watching. We won't cut off. Um, yes. Just keep it running and I'll give a countdown uh, for that. I don't actually have a screen set up for that. Hmm. So it'll be the screen for these games for a little bit. Mm. <laughs> the games we just played, but I'll make up a screen. It's very quick to do it. Yeah. Especially since we've played this in After Dark before. I'll just go get that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, so we'll be back uh, shortly. Uh, keep watching, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Welcome to the Sid Station. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever.